What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, this is Driver's Side. I'm Drew. Here at Driver's Side we do all kinds of car related videos and stuff. Um, for this video I thought it might be kind of cool to do a video on some of the gear that I use. So you might be seeing more gear reviews here um, in the future. Um, but this is the first one and today we are going to be reviewing my Torque T1 Retro Helmet. So this is my Torque T1 helmet. This is the helmet I use when I ride primarily. Um, you will see me wearing it if you watch the motor vlogs I do and any motor vlogs that are in the future. So let's get into the first thing that you see when you get this helmet and that is the packaging. Um, the packaging is pretty nice. The box looks very cool. They got lots of cool decals and stuff on it. Um, and they also have this interesting top flap which kind of has some uh, cardboard clips which I think is a pretty nice touch. Um, inside the packaging, you've got the helmet securely wrapped with some foam, and then you also have on the inside a nice kind of shoe bag, which you can use to keep other stuff if you want to afterwards, after you open the helmet. Um, and it's got the nice Torque logo actually embroidered into the bag, which is really nice. Just open it up here, and... Here is the helmet. So, on the box, let me look at what it says. This color is the Americana Tron and black color. So, this was the one that I thought would look best on my bike, just because my bike is black. So I picked this one. Um, they come in a lot of different colors, which is really nice. Um, so you've got options as far as that goes. So right away when you look at this helmet, if you're kind of into helmets, you'll notice it looks like the Bell Bullet a lot. Um, and I think that's actually what they modeled it after, but this is a cheaper option if you're looking for a cheaper helmet and still like the design of the Bell Bullet. So that's one thing I like is it's cheap and it looks very nice. So one thing I like about this helmet and the Bell Bullet also because this is styled after that is the small chin guard, which makes it kind of more possible to communicate with people. Like if you want to lower it and talk, they can actually see what you're saying and comprehend it a lot better. Um, and also you can actually lift it up a little bit and drink like a water bottle or something pretty easily out of it. So that's one good thing about the small chin strap it has. Um, also some of the tech that comes with this helmet is right here on this side of the helmet. There's a lock, a locking mechanism that actually works to keep the visor down. So when it's down, it keeps the visor locked in place. And when it's up, the visor goes right up. So that's very cool. Also, We've got four little uh, air vents here that open and close, and they actually have a very nice feel to them. When you open and close them, they click right in place. So that's it for the front. On the back, we also have two air vents up here, and also two air vents down here for maximum flow through the helmet, which makes it very breathable and very comfortable. Another good thing about this helmet is it is both DOT and ECE approved. If you don't know what those are, DOT is the US uh, helmet safety standard and ECE is the helmet safety standard for Europe. Um, the ECE is a little more rigorous on their testing, so if you have a helmet that is ECE approved, you know it is um, up to the most up-to-date safety standards that we have. So that is another added bonus of this. It's a pretty cost-friendly helmet that is also ECE approved. That's a very good thing. On the inside, we've got removable padding that is actually really comfortable. Um, you have this double ring uh, locking mechanism for the strap. Um, also, I love the brown leather on the inside. I think most of the colorways of this helmet have the brown on the inside, which I really like. Some of you might not, but to me that's awesome because I really like the brown look. And a lot of these pads do come out, so you can wash them. Um, one little gripe I do have about this helmet is not too long, I think right after my first ride actually, I think the airflow through this helmet actually caused the back vent the little mesh on it to kind of start coming loose which is kind of annoying when you're putting the helmet on but you don't really notice it when you're riding so it's not that big of a gripe but just one little thing in the quality that I noticed so another gripe I have about this helmet is it's pretty loud for a full face helmet um, I think part of that is due to there not being any protection right here so a lot of air is coming up through under your chin area and that causes it to be pretty loud for a full face helmet um, but that's not 
too big of a deal, especially if you're not going on long rides. So overall, I guess for my gear reviews, I'll do the same sort of rating system as the snack reviews. We'll do coffee beans, best out of five. So this one I'm going to say gets a four out of five for the Torque T1. Um, I think it's a very good helmet. It's very comfortable. It looks really good. You get a decent amount of tech and it's ECE approved all for under $200, which is a really good price point for a full face helmet. I like this helmet a lot. This is my helmet of choice so far. It's the first helmet I've bought for my new motorcycle. I've had a couple helmets in the past, but this has been my favorite that I've had so far. If any helmet makers want to send me a helmet for review, I will surely do that. Um, just uh, look in the description for the contact information. You can send me an email. Uh, make sure to like this video if you guys enjoyed watching it, if you found it informative. Also, leave a comment down below if you've got anything to say about the video, or also just say what kind of helmet you wear, what your favorite helmet is. That would be interesting for me to hear as well. Um, and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest videos. I come out with videos at least once a week, usually on weekends. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, enjoy the road. I don't know if I can reach this, but we'll try. <laughs>